Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's video. A bad mind, licky licky and jealous of other people's success. Michael Mann is the one that implanted that in their head. Remember these people, you know, were industrious people. That are country people, they're you know, hard working. And these people believe that hard work brings success. But Michael Mann, you know, came with this thing you now. Say, look, if a man have two cars, you can't get one. If you have two horses, you can't get one. So I saw the bad mind thing start now. He did not, Michael Manley did not impart it to them, you know, to the same people them in the um, rural Jamaica, you know, to tell them that, look, you must aspire to become wealthy too. Yes, you understand. Try, you know, work hard and you will become wealthy. No, he might tell people, say, boy, anything we are next man have, you can't get to half a fight. That's a straight bad mind thing. So I saw now we have the, all of these bad mind people and... That's where we are at now, right now, at this juncture in Jamaica, why Jamaica become the criminal's paradise. So, we'll continue the journey, so, you know, so there are a few reasons why I believe that people should not be entitled to other people's property. It, it is a violation of property, property rights. Property rights are individuals, legal and moral rights to their, their possessions. When someone takes someone else's property without permission, they violate their rights. So that's why we don't like thief, we don't like robber, we don't like, we don't like the thief in police them. And that's why we tell you, you know, most of the thief in police them are country them come from. Because their parents, you know, switch from being conservative, working hard, achieve what you want to achieve. And Michael Manley come and tell him now, say, hey, look, if your neighbor have two us, them figure one. And I saw the bad mind thing start. So that's why... When all of the police them who come from country and they come out town and join it and they are police officers, they become thief because that already embedded in them. So anything where see somebody with them forgive it to you. You know for work for it. So they don't respect people's rights. So that's how the bad mind thing um, came about in Jamaica and Michael Manley is the man that plant that seed. And we're still reaping it right now, you know. And it discourages hard work and innovation. So that's why you have so many youths right now. Standing at the NR1 pathway are lean or what and him a need up him finger with ganja. Because Michael Manley already planted that in his head. So oh you know for work, you know. If you're a neighbor of two million dollars, I'm supposed to give you one. So that's all robbery. You understand? That those are the things that imparted to them. So if people knew no, their property can be removed, they are less likely to work hard and innovate. That's why we have so many thieves in Jamaica. They don't believe in the hard work. And this would lead to a le this would lead to a less prosperous society for everyone. That's why Jamaicans are still struggling. Things are about to get better based on what they are saying. But look, to live in a Jamaica, you know, Jamaica is more expensive to live in America, and I can't tell anyone that. You know. I don't know all the people them in Jamaica do it because it's a very expensive place to live. You understand? So laziness, laziness and you know socialistic thinking, it can lead to conflict and violence. So you see it now, that's how you get it. the Klansman gang. That's why this gang rise to prominence because them believe say, so you see it, all the Jamaican people them stupid now. So you see it now, you know. That's why we are educated people, you know. So that's why you have the Klansman gang. And all of the philosophy where Michael Manley imparted to the people is a reflection. You see it in a Klansman gang. Yeah, if you not give me what me want, me I'll kill you. Property rights. Violate people's property rights. Burn down people's property. 
and violence, all of that. And I them are embracing you know. them. Yes, and we say, we say, um, um, our experienced drug dealer, coke dealer, Bujo Bantan. Now we see him, <laughs> Bujo Bantan, <laughs> you know, say, boy, I'm a comrade Bujo. So, you understand? So, you know, so the, the PMP LGBTQ plus party, 2023, September 17, 2023. Yeah, it's a party for criminals now. So, you have a twice convicted coke dealer over there now. I know you have Bujo Bantan, who will try to sell two kilo of coke to black people in America and Uncle Sam gave him 10 years. So, I don't know. The reason why I'm around now, I don't know. Because him daughter now, I'm aspiring labor right. I don't know. So, basically, he daughter now subscribe to his philosophy. Because, a greed, you know. Greed, why him end up a prison, you know. You understand? So, he must expect to get some national award or some OD and all them things there. How the government figure a convicted drug dealer? Any national award? You can't put him on a pedestal. You understand? So it now, so him become known. Him join, him join the, 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 the party of the, the criminals them now. So I just saw it go. You understand? So the pe and look. And you hear my ta um, these people talking about caring about children. Oh on God's earth. You have to join up with people and they don't even mention anything about Philip Paul and him missing baby and baby mama. But that's how it is, you understand? So I just saw it go. So when people feel that their property is insecure, they are more likely to resort to violence to protect it. And this can lead to a more dangerous and unstable society. So that's the reason why Jamaica is like this, you know, because you have people now like yeah. Yeah, the criminal them don't believe in our working because Michael Manley tell them, teach them that, you know. Yeah, if you if your neighbor have two us, yeah, them forget you one. If them have two car, yeah, you forget one. But I get no gun on my car them. You understand? I have two car, you know, I get none. Not even a drive, me I get out of it. You understand? So you go ahead. So the birth of covetous bad mind and jealousy started in the 1970s. Yeah, man, and that's how the country people them rally over to Michael Manley and abandon conservative values. Because conservative values, it have morals, ethics, decency, truthfulness, honesty, and all of the good things. Them. So them country people them abandon that now. And gravitate towards Michael Manley and I said, boy, oh, a socialism, socialism is a must. So you hear the people when I sing song, uh, what a ho, blind aga, what a ho. Most of you don't know what I say. The first one come blind, and the, se and the second one come dead, and the third one come sheer out himself. So the first one, they matter when they say, what a old blind aga. Uh, they matter, the first one, they matter, Buster, say Buster get blind. Um, the the first one come blind, the second one come dead, and the second one now no matter no other one name Sangster. Them pies him and kill him. And Shira, she wrote himself. So that's how them call Siaga no blind aga. And the phone don't even know what them thing they whenever you understand. So that's how the birth of covetousness starts and bad mind and jealousy. And Michael Manley is the author of that. The bad mind people thinks. So that's why when a friend bad mind you and all of them things there, Michael Manley, it'll come from. You understand? Yes, trade. No if no buts. Cause see I gonna never promote them ideology in a Jamaica we tell you say boy, if a man have two care you forget one. Him teach you say boy, you fi aspire for attain the same lifestyle. No, Michael Manley not tell you that. Michael Manley say if him have two hours him figure one. You understand? So that's why we have so many lazy people and criminal minded people in a Jamaica. That him implant not in our people them psyche. So, you know, Michael Manley is the most charismatic um, politician ever who instilled in the people's psyche to eat the rich people and do whatever they could to take away their riches. But one thing that he had never taught the people how to become educated and aspire to become wealthy. Two, without grudging others of their wealth and how they, how they came about the same. He is the one who fostered in the era of bad mind and that is that is how Jamaica of bad mind and licky licky, covetous and jealousy started. He's the one that bring in that in. Because before then, everybody that lived in Jamaica as black people and we know so, or, you know, our ancestors were enslaved and people used to have morals and people look out for one another and all of them things. You could have leave your house open, nobody now broke. And Michael Manley come into them things. You know? That's why people start breaking up people's house to one of them things. Yes. 
burglary, shot breaking and all them things. They came and said, boy, if a man have two, two, two tin of milk, him forgive you one. So you know, I broke in the people them shop for teeth. I saw him, I, I, him implant nothing in the people them, you know. The bad mind thing and the licky licky, so, but, so, but socialism. I mash up the, um, and I saw a licky licky country people them, you know, them help contribute to the, um, the destruction of Jamaica and the culture. So the statement that the birth of covetous bad man and jealousy started in 1970 by Michael Manley. Some people don't want to say, boy, it's a complex one. But there is an easy answer. And it is true. And one on Michael Manley, socialistic policy led to some resentment of the wealthy. I don't hate rich people, because I want for rich too. Although I know some people work for get rich. Because you can't work and get rich, you have to be an entrepreneur. You understand? Yeah, so Michael Manley also implemented several policies to redistribute wealth, such as land reform and nationalizing vital industry. And guess what? All of them things they are can Michael Manley can them in. Because Michael Manley not give no black people in the land in Jamaica. None. That's why he still have his squatters them. Because Michael Manley knows that once they must squat, they may vote for him. Because he promised them, say, no, I'll give them the land. Him, Michael, that, why do you think Michael Manley created National Housing Trust? To streamline the thing and make sure it goes through. But him, him can them still, you know. You understand? That's why I have all of these capture land and people. And you understand what I'm saying? And that is there. That is one of their modus operandi. And it is still there. And you see Mark Golden um, telling the people them to defy the court. What kind of person who want to become a leader of a country if you tell people, say, ignore the law. But we continue the journey. So these, the, so these policies were often seen as an attack on the rich and this leads to some degree of social unrest. On the other hand, it is also true that Jamaica has a long history of poverty and inequality. These problems predate Mike, uh, Michael Manley's office time and have yet to be solved since then. It is therefore for us to blame Michael Manley for the crime problem in Jamaica because he's the one that sowed the seed of bad mind covetous and jealousy towards other people thing because you're supposed to live in a society where you're supposed to have everything and you're not supposed to have worry you can't even wear one chain one ring one one watch without a man try to kill you and take it that's all that's why trinity stopped with a gold ring in it because i gold ring him one gold ring in it almost cost him him life you understand him and some man in a shootout and then you know him shoot one of the boy and the boy got a prisoner and end up in up at england you understand So you know Michael, you know, so it's also important to note that Michael Manley was a complex figure. He was a charismatic leader who was deeply committed to social justice. However, Michael Manley was also a flawed individual who made not only some mistake, many mistakes. And it is therefore impossible to say definitively whether or not he is responsible for the rise of covetous bad mind and jealousy in Jamaica. So that's how some people are saying that. But we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel can say it. Because if you are, if you have told the people then that look if my your neighbor have two car or two house him figure you one that's a straight bad mind. I saw and the matter about socialism that I see the bad mind. You understand? And then now them create the environment now for you as a poor pe poor people poor man or poor woman, you for eight people who are rich or have it. Remember saying you know, some people born in our wealth and we know that slavery, slavery at um especially the people them, with a certain you in a Jamaica, them inherit wealth because it passed down from generation to generation. Alright, Jamaica now has been independent for 61 years. Show me show me any big corporation or a company where black people were in a Jamaica. Show me what kind of in, the only influence that black people have in a Jamaica is that them have gangs. That all black people have the biggest gang them in a Jamaica. Show me a, a Chinese gang in a Jamaica. Show me an Indian gang. Show me a white gang. Show me any one of these race of people who in Jamaica who are extort people, who are kill people, who are rape and commit all of the crime them. It's not, the, it's not these people, it's one set of people. The same people them were Michael Manley. Tell them, say, if your neighbor have two cars, they must give you one. The Chinese people them, them come from China, you know, come to Jamaica poor, you know. 
You understand? Same Indian them, them call them buyer. All them used to do a, a plant. And the same black people there laugh off of them and them plant colour low. But guess what? They save them money. And I them see him one move go uptown and say, oh, I don't want to want live around them, them, them niggas there. You know? Because them lazy and bad mind. And I them see him one try to do everything for much of them own black people. So you, you understand? So we continue the journey. So, yeah, so um, ultimately the truth about Michael's, Michael Manley's legacy is a complex and multifaceted. He was a complex figure who played a significant role in Jamaican history. Especially of sending close to 2,000 young men to Cuba to train, to use firearms, explosive, and fighting guerrilla warfare, and how to use explosives to burn down people's houses. And these people they weren't fighting against an invader. These people were displacing and killing their own people. So that's a Michael Manley a legacy. The Brigadista program. If you notice, 95% of the Kiss John Metropolitan era are PMP LGBTQ plus community. Majority of these people are super illiterate. Most of the dons them can't read and write. And I can tell you that as a detective. Yeah, when you're uh, you know, it's easy for you to <laughs> write all the cash. Well, I know how about it. It's easy for you as a detective to write a statement and give them for sign. And guess what? You're yeah, done. Boy, I can't sign in, I'm a supporter. And them are done, you know, don't slight bat, you know. So you have to put now, say, boy, him sign in him as X. Oh, a man who can't, <laughs> can't read and write, but him are done. You understand? That's why I saw it going at these community because who can inflate the most pain and who's the most evil. So that's how it is in, a, in, in, in these communities. Michael Manley is the author of that. He's the one that sends his young men to train as brigadistas and then return to Jamaica and impart it to them, them friends in the community. Then plan at night how to go burn down people's. All those abandoned buildings that you see in the Kingston metropolitan area, they were, these buildings were destroyed, the occupants were killed, and they were done by Michael Manley supporters and activists who, were, who he had sent to Cuba to train to destroy people and displace them because of votes. His impact on the country mostly negative. Yes, Michael Manley impact on Jamaica is mostly negative and to this day everything we see to do with criminality gun, gun culture and uh, that's Michael Manley. You can't blame Siaga. You cannot blame Siaga for the crime thing in Jamaica right now. Let me name the labor right place in Jamaica, in a Kingston metropolitan area. Back then you used to have Rima, Tivoli, um, you have a place um, out of East Kingston at one place, and Tower Hill and Grandspen, Sherlock. Every other place in Kingston, Brook Valley, Riverton, there's a part in a new, at New Haven. Jerusalem, Marvel, and we are going on and on. All of them places, you understand? J Concrete Jungle, where, where I'm from. Jonestown, where I was born. Tarrant, um, Admiral Town, Craig Town, Anna Town. All of these pe pl um, places are PMP, com PMP LGBTQ plus community. So, and look, from the 70s, even um, back then, you know, when Michael Manley was Prime Minister, you know, the most wanted men them always, always a PMP LGBTQ plus gunmen. I can't recall ever seeing a labor right on the Jamaica most wanted list in the 80s. When you understand because you know the police them um have them at that year from you know during the election and you understand in 1980. So then uh, Mike Siaga now start use the American thing where most wanted and you have the 10 men them on the front of the star and then the next day you see two dead you see the X you understand 100% of them all yes PMP LGBTQ plus gunmen 97 or 98% of people then that Siaga hang in prison were PMP LGBTQ plus gunmen who kill other Jamaicans so tell me now who is the father of criminality in Jamaica if all, all the data is pointed to one person. 
Siago never send if Siago never send no um no um no labor right to train in America or return back with any military experience and this and that. You understand? Uncle Michael alone did it. But you know the the liar the um, the liar the unconscionable people, the master boy, yeah, but, well what about what about nothing? We just all hear about facts. We just want Jamaica, we want it back. We see right now where the PMP LGBTQ plus party leadership Mark Golden wants to take Jamaica right back to there. So hope hey, whatever a man so you know, that is what he's going to reap. And in case politicians do not know, you know, you see the days gone by where politicians were insulated from the violence, not anymore. You understand? Because you see, is this boy, you know, him name, um, we're dead in a Waldi, you know, Waldi, why them start shoot up people in a vehicle and kill them, you know, when them kill Ram Dialson and Ruth Ven Road, you know, and now it's become a norm. So if you are a person in Jamaica back then, a man who never think to come ride up on you and shoot in a vehicle, but because criminals are so emboldened and protected, them to have no fear for commit crime anywhere. So it's just, and you know, the police, they are demoralized. But we see them still do some work on them things, especially the uniform police. Because the uniform police, them don't have them, and, and them are just out of the criminal them now. So the detective are going to work now like bank, bank tellers and office workers. So we continue the journey. So as we tell you already say, yeah, Michael Manley um, impact on, on the country is mostly negative. He have some positive positive things, yes, especially like when um for go higher education you get stipend and all of them things. You understand? Yes, my family benefit from them things, but as to me, I rather the book than the gun. That are the thing with me totally against. Because before Michael Manley bring in all these guns into my community. Jonestown was a safe place, nice place. You understand? They could have walked any hours at night. And the, you understand what I'm saying? And people used to love each other. Until we come in with this thing, this gun business. So it is important to note that, that the statement that Jamaica has become a criminal paradise is true. And it is supported by evidence. Yes, and the reason why we said that if you notice anytime somebody is wanted in any other jurisdiction, one place them all here find themselves, Jamaica. Remember the man the Colombian you know, that kill involved in the killing of the president, the Asian president. A Jamaica them Jamaica them find um, four of them. Jamaica is a criminal's paradise. People wanted all in a Europe, them catch them in a Jamaica. You understand? So we know a mass majority of Jamaican people are law-abiding citizens. But some, uh, the prey of mind, criminal-minded, bad mind, covetous, and you can't name it. You understand? So in conclusion, people should not be entitled to other people's property. We don't believe in that. You work for what you want, and me work for what I want. If I feel like to give you something, but we don't this entitlement thing. People's rights are essential for a prosperous and peaceful society. And the licky licky behavior, no, we know that. You understand? Country people, them, so now we don't see where the country people, them, where them lose, them lost them where. 1976, when them vote for Michael Manley. You understand? Because he promised them land and, and he still never gave them. At Michael Manley was a con man too, you know. He promised them land and this and land reform. Them still have squatters down at Jamaica, see him here. And now, look now, them attack now. Boy, um, this government must distribute land, yeah. Yeah, alright, look, if you go and give them land up in one mountain and them things, you think they might take it? No, because they don't want to do no farming. They want to, everybody wants to live in a city. If you say they live in a town. Hey, look here, man. Bad mind, covetous, jealousy, and envy. Yeah, man, is the. Michael, man, is the architect of it, man. And it, it still lives on today in Jamaican society. We see it every day. And if you notice, a group, if you notice, most of the men them who are friends, and them kill them friends. Just check them political party and where them come from or which party them align to. Cool Breeze, PMP, LGBTQ plus party. Little Bigger, LGBTQ plus party. I just saw it go. You know, I just saw the, 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 the PMP them rule. Them kill them one another. Them friend. Anyone who have family who did in America, um, live in America in the 1980s and them involved in all kind of nefarious deeds. Look, and them friends all here shoot them in the back and them and bring them back to Jamaica come bury them. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.